another day another try at beating pathologic classic hd oh and now we don't have anything Fuck. do you like the polyhedron if i ever get to the tower i'd love to play reflections what is reflections well there's a labyrinth nobody knows what its structure is like because it feels like it's a mile long you keep walking and walking and walking and it never ends. And when you're out, it's not actually you, but rather your reflection. And you yourself go to the other place. How can a labyrinth of that size fit in there? That's the trick. Perhaps you're not walking at all. Perhaps you're going around in circles or standing pat. And the reflections make the space around you feel like it's shifting. Isn't that cool? That's the magic of reflection. Those who come out act very... mysteriously. Mysteriously how? Unlike themselves. It's like, it's you, but not really you, you. They're not very talkative. That's why they say it's a reflection. Its only purpose is to be there so that your parents aren't worried and all that. And the real person goes to the utopia country, a miraculous land. Did many children go into the labyrinth? They say many used to go in before, but then they realized what it does and got scared a bit. All in all, it's not so popular these days. But Smarty Pants did go in. So did Crowfood, by the way. Most of them are with Notkin now. A curious story. Huh. Okay. Do I have my Maradorn then? I don't. There we go. All three Maradon. I'm gonna. Hmm. Oh, what? The letter from Mother Superior. We didn't kill the prisoner yet because he said he needed to pass some really important information to you. This is all because of that bull at the lot. Signed by a fingerprint, the mother of bulls. Hmm. Well. Ain't that curious. It's 14. Will I be able to withstand? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if we can do this. Vlad? So you're not dead? Whoa. What? Oh, he's a prisoner. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. All right. So he's not dead yet. <clears throat> Have you seen the bull? What bull? Ah. Uh, See how anxious the commoners are, Alastair. A dying aurochs have appeared in the lot, although the foreman had supposedly killed the last one. So, <laughs> he hasn't killed it to death then, or what? Can it really be something supernatural, so to speak? An omen? Don't know. I don't know. Ask the torturer over there. <laughs> You'll be careful though. What if it's a trap? Form an oyun, you know. You two are locked in combat now. Pray forgive me. He could fix something like this. An ambush? Seems likely. I'll take a look. That thing in the lot is a message. I'm at peace. Everything has worked out for the best. Farewell, boss. Hello, hello, hello! Your prisoner has told me of a bull mother. Any idea what he's talking about? A supreme! Do you know what supreme bulls are? They're very, very important. This one has just appeared without warning. He's intended for you. Go ahead and check on him. You have to guess what's supposed to be done with him. It's your job. Teehee. Nothing to laugh at, mother. Where is it? The bone steak lot. 
You know, they are where a big stone sticks out from the ground. They say it's a splinter. Suoko's walking there, but their leg got stuck, so she tried to free herself and has broken a bit off. That's why Shabnak has pointy bones for feet. Any wise advice? Nah, -uh. I won't offer you advice, but I'll offer you the answer to the question that you so desperately want to ask. Yes, of course. As in, of course he has to be. As in, he has to be alive, but you don't really have to take him off. Now think. More talking in riddles, huh? Oh, it's close by. Fuck the foreman. I'll do his quest last. Fuck him. I hate him. Ooh, that is one big ball. Can you not see? I'm not the Odonk here. I'm not the one to bring them in. The one you need is standing next to me. Thank you, Krin Thank you, kindred one. You see, he is dying. He cannot come closer. Neither can you touch. Do not even try it. You won't be able to. How can you? You are neither foreman nor warden yet. Where did it come from? Wasn't the last one killed three days ago? Your words. His blood went into the earth, didn't it? So he grew back. A har. Give me some of its blood. The children sense him. The little ones know what to do. Ask them. They inherit the land. We have other bound too. Bound together, connected with a single thread. Ask your bound. Ask the children. Which ones in particular? Ask my kindred ones. Each one of them has their very own way of feeling. My word is this. The soul and the halves have been there already. Their outcast leader, the warden of the beasts, the weak, and the bottle's little offsprings must have an opinion about this. Not him? I'll ask him, Odonge. Hmm. Do you see? Ask what the scout boy thinks, the one to study the town's body, to learn where houses grow, to sense invisible conjoinments. Tell me what he would do to the Supreme. Tell me, and I shall give you a gulp of his blood. This is worth the time and effort. Who is to breathe life into the dying kin? It is shame you are neither foreman nor warden yet. Be heedful. A great bull lies dying at the bone stake lot. Perhaps this is an orox, a need the equal image of the one referred to as Boss Turok by the legend. What will the scout boy who knows the town like the back of his hand say of the bull? What will the soul in the house's leader, the protector of cubs and outcasts, say of this bull? Wait, I'll ask one last guy. Ah, okay. Do you see? Ask what the gravedigger's daughter thinks. The one to lend her voice to those who spring into herbs on Bodo's skin. Tell me what she would do to the Supreme. Tell me, and I shall give you a gulp of blood. This is worth the effort. Do you see? Ask what the orphan thinks. The one to lend her voice to earth itself. The one to never lie. The one to listen rather than talk. Tell me what she would do to the Supreme. Tell me, and I shall give you a gulp of blood. Yes, this is worth any effort. Your hour may come, and it may not. You are neither a foreman nor warden yet. I know. Okay, well, let's read this quest. Boss Turok is coming. They say there was a miracle at Bone Stay Clot. An awkward place for a miracle. I've been told people were executed there before. Shall I go take a look? The coming of the bull is a riddle and no one knows the answer to it better than the children. Notkin has already called for a meeting and the worms are waiting for some other children to bring them th the news. It appears that every stray child here has his or her purpose. The coming of the bull is a riddle to which only the children would know the answer. Sticky has something to say on the matter and it seems of crucial importance. What would I have thought? What would have thought? Oh, who would have thought? He doesn't look anything special. 
Mm-hmm. I believe that Grace would be able to see through the puzzle better than anyone else. The children will inherit the earth. Murky, the girl who can hear the earth, has something to say on the matter. This is interesting. Sure is. <sighs> Okay, well, we're in a better spot now. We can do more things at once. We can go to Sticky, go to the Foreman, go down to Grace, get to the Red Eye Barrow, kill the guys, go to Murky, you know, just lots of things at once. I can't sleep here. Have you seen a pale, glimmering <coughs> man at night? No. Oh, but I can't go outside no matter what. Even I understand that's a no-go. I saw the bullet in the bone pillar lot. It's a supreme. No way! Why don't I ever get to see one? I've been lying in wait at night for so many times, trying to see the Odongs bring a supreme one from the steppe. And it didn't work, not even once. Dang. So what did it look like? Was it really that huge? Well, it was big for a ball. Heal it. You're a doctor, ain't you? Take it off the spike. It made my head hurt in the morning, too. Is that so? And I think I wasn't the only one. An aurochs is a sacred beast. Whatever happens to it affects everything around. What do you think the foreman has to learn the right? Did your father even teach you? Ward in my ass. Hey, shut it you. I know all that. Holy cats. Has anyone seen that? In the lot. Could worms have done it? Sticky asked me to protect the bull. I can tell this to the Odonge. I could go straight to them and get some blood, but I could also go to the foreman. Oh, she's not here. Well, is Grace at Capella's already? Did she go to Capella? It's terrifying here. I mean, if I were Grace and I, if I let my little cozy lodge... If I left my little cozy lodge, I'd to run to Capella immediately. Where else is there to go? Capella is the only place. I'll check at Capella's. Well, what a shit move to do. I should go to sleep at the Red Eye Barrow, yeah. Wait, do I not have my knife equipped? 84 percent mm, lovely gonna go to sleep a little bit do we bother talking to them suok's warmth nourishes you oinon show me what you took from the abattoir why we need it i want to know where exactly you got it Will you leave us alone if we tell you? Deal. You can't get other blood from below the ground, but you would be able to get enough from the wound if you cut the growth that's been bothering him for some now, for some time now. You may do whatever you want now. You are dead to the kin all the same. Yeah, I knew he was gonna... Give me some herbs, 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 give me some herbs. Killed that guy. The spirit. Okay, I've read this already. The spirit. <laughs> the spirits of the dead. Swivery. Oh no. I just. I saw it wrong. 
I was certain there was a swivery there. I sure wish we could teleport in this game. <laughs> Hey kid, don't mind the knife. It's that cold here. Wolf in the lodge is still alive. That's for sure. A cute bull? Okay. It's cold here. I need an oven. Do you know there's a bull in the Bogdan Steak lot? I do. My doll told me that. It's hurt. It'll be over sooner or later or later. Poor bull. Is it an Orox? It's not a real Supreme. The last one was killed four days ago. So it is a spell then. It's not real, but it's alive. We need to get it off the bone. There's a sharp stake in its head. We definitely must take it off. It's hurt and that hurts us. I understand. What are you looking at? Shut up. <laughs> Poo. How do you live here when the winter comes? Well, I guess nothing to say to that. Go, go, go! We can do it. We cannot die. We gotta live! Why can't I move any faster? This is agonizing! There's no point in talking to these guys. Fuck that. But I can't get hit even once. Or I die. Okay. Running. I'm running. I'm just, I'm so close. This time, I'm so close to winning. This day or whatever. I'm so close. The punishment of blasphemers and defilers is a deed worthy of a warden. Foreman Oyun will be glad to hear my story when I return to him. Yeah, if I don't die before that. Oh god. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, Maradorm and Morphine. Okay. Wait, I have crackers. Forgot about that. Right, I need to sell my one Meridorm. That's all I can afford. Oh. Well, that didn't fare well. We have limited time. What if there's something in an infected house? Any food at all? Let's just suss out what kind of loot we can get from... Nope. This is a race against time. Two Maradorms. Great. Five. Oh, our exhaustion is critical. Great! I didn't foresee that. Okay, fuck. Let's just kill some civilians. For scraps of money. Listen, I'm on the verge of death here. I'm trying to survive. I love that the soldiers really don't care. She's playing to win. Would you do me another favor? Okay. Would you do me another favor? There's some more. There's more bad news. I'm not surprised anymore. Every crucial person will have to face a dangerous trial now. Who is it this time? D 
This time Clara came to Murky, and now Murky wants to go outside. Clara did something bad to her. Murky is anxious now, I can feel it. What happened? I don't know. Nothing at all, perhaps. All I know is Murky is very anxious, and she's not the type of girl to be easily scared by fairy tales. You'll be the one scared of hers. Why do you care for this Murky anyway? When Murky grows up, she'll replace Saburova. She knows how to listen to the soil, and so she'll make a good mistress of earth, and the Rat Prophet's dirt spilling services will not be required anymore. Murky is clean. Okay, I'll stop by her place. But Grace is not here. Capella is like a flowery branch with children flitting around her like bees. Who else would Grace turn to, f to for protection? Murky doesn't want the bull to leave. I can relate this to the Odonga. Who is going to feed the dolly? Murky is worried. She wants to get outside. What could have possibly made her get this agitated? Yeah, I'm gonna die any second now. Yeah. Maybe let's just keep killing that drunkard until he has bandages. Because it's randomized, I'm pretty sure. Yes, bandages. Even better. What if I get some living blood from them and drink it? Will this help me out? The living blood heals in Pathologic 2. The boy said that the bull must be taken off the stake. He cares for it. He is right. Take this blood. Speak to other worms. Speak to other children. They have been ruling and will be ruling over us. Let them speak. Okay, okay can I take this blood? I can't. Fuck. Check his blood, if you will. Oh, wait. The orphan said the bull must live. Isn't it real? Check his blood, if you will. Speak to other worms. Speak to other children. They have been ruling and will be ruling over us. Let them speak. Okay. I need to do that later. I need to go to the forum first. I am reaching new levels of despair. I'm not gonna lie. Oh god. What do I have to do to stay alive? No, not again. Crackers, great. Like just in case we don't manage with the Oh, oh the Orongs are here. Like, just in case we won't be able to do our mission, then we'll have the living blood for the panaceas. Right? Right. At least there's that. What if we just don't do the mission for today? Like, we've recorded everything there is really to know about it. And we know that it just ends with Oyun giving us the living blood. And we can get a shitload of living blood from another place. And we can cure people with the panacea anyway. We can just skip this. Like, it's just too hard. It's like... <laughs> I'm frustrated. If you can't tell. <laughs> no. Fuck this. Bye. I don't. Ah. No. No more. We might just skip this quest entirely. I don't give a fuck. I can't do this. I'm not giving up on this let's play, but I'm. 
I sure as hell might fucking give up on the main quest this time. I no fucking way. I can just... Mm. Whatever. Bye.